Good morning. So um, today I'm starting the table. I got all the wood from uh, Reed LaPlante and uh, it's what they call Heart of Pine. It's old floorboards from um, homes in Georgia that he actually uh, took up himself during remodels and uh, he planed them for me in his shop and now they're over at my shop and I'm going to make a table out of them uh, for my friends Kyle and Kelly. So here's the wood. I'll show you. And I've already laid out uh, some of the wood I'm going to use as the tabletop. So let's see what that's going to look like here. And the eventual table. So lots to do, so time to get to work. So I've got the boards laid out and I'm ready to start um, doing a little bit of fine joining on the jointer so that I can um, biscuit join them and combine them. But the main thing is that the table looks great. Uh, let's have a look. And uh, the strategy was to combine pieces of wood that had similar um, sort of heart sections uh, with the rifty sections um, so that it looks like we've got sol uh, big wide boards here or basically it all goes together really nicely. I'll sort of try to show you what I mean. So this looks like perhaps one piece of wood even though it's really two same thing here. This pattern coming, going together, um, and this one to an extent. So, in any case, I think it'll look really beautiful when it's all glued up. Okay. Hi, so the um, tabletop is glued up and now I'm going to glue up the legs. Uh, what I'm going to do is combine three pieces of wood uh, to make one leg. So I've got 12 of them and I picked the ones I like the best to be on the outside and uh, it's just really great looking stuff. So I'll show you what I've got and then I'll glue it up. Hi. So I'm gluing up the table leg and I just want to show you, basically it's, you know, it's kind of like making a sandwich. Just put a lot of glue everywhere and then clamp it up tight. So I'm going to do it. like a big mayonnaise sandwich. some 
biscuit joints in it um, just to help it uh, stay solid in place and not slide around when I um, when I clamp it up. So that's what these are for. Okay, so I do the same thing to this face, and then I'll glue it up, clamp it up, and you can see what that looks like, but that'll take a little longer.